Yes, good day, brothers and sisters. Uh, you are all welcome to the moment of truth with comrade Bob Malwe Omobume Umaru. Uh, what we're going to talk about uh, today at the moment of truth, Friday, November 12, 2021. I repeat, Friday, November 12, 2021. As you all might have heard, uh, our our Ogapatapata, the former governor of Edo State, His Excellency, I don't know what to say, Doctor Chief Sir Lucky Igmenedion uh, versus ESCC. Uh, as you all heard, uh, that uh, he was grilled, uh, interrogated, arrested by the ESCC. Uh, less than 48 hours ago, we don't know if he's already out or not. Uh, Comrade uh, Omo Bume will be here tomorrow, will be here to tell us and give us an update. And uh, the moment of truth with Dr. Laya Loretta and Governor Governor Obaseki appointment and others. So, without delay, let me bring to you the hammer of all time. Uh, the one and only comrade Bob Malwe Amabume Umaru. Put your hands together and show him some love, guys. Uh, let's do that. Hello, comrade. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, sir. Yes, hey, sir. How are you? Very fine. Good to be here again. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, let's it's put off uh, this uh, lucky Minedion and others. Uh, what do you got to say about this? Go ahead. The chicken has finally come home to roost. <laughs> I want to say, um, whatever any man does in this life, the past, your present, will always catch up with you. You see, okay. uh, not too long ago, uh, we all saw Governor Lucky jumping out of his hole and uh, attending public meetings with Governor Gordon Obaseki. Today, we have been vindicated. Today, another face, another can have been unedited. Another can of corrupt practices, of uh, theft, backpassing of our money has been discovered again. And uh, in all of this, Governor Basaki cannot be exonerated. It cannot be exonerated. It, it, it's a pointer. I told you all the reason uh, Chief Lucky Benedio came out was when he discovered that he's now far better than the present governor of Edo State. You know, on the list of fake governors of Edo State in our history, he was topping the list. Today is number two because Basaki is now topping the list number one. So if Lucky Benedio, that was, uh, who is now number two, has been sentenced to prison back and has been arrested again, about to go back to the prison again. There is a point out for you to all understand that if the full law of Nigeria, if the weight of the law take its place, I assure you after 2024, Governor Gordon Obasaki might as well spend the rest of his entire life in jail, the way it is going. Uh, nobody eats the money of Edo State and goes scot free. And that is the music Chief Lovie Igbenedio is facing. He has been alleged again for another crime of 1.6 billion naira. I don't Ooh. know his problem with billions. You will never hear them say they are arrested for 200 million, 100 million. So there's billion, billion, billion. Now another billion has uh, flying again. And uh, don't forget, there is an issue of 1.2 billion that uh, they stamp the governor. That one is still on one corner. And uh, at the time, EFC will start unveiling and unveiling and unveiling. I don't know who perhaps would be arrested on that particular one. Now, it's a point out that when you are giving public office, it's the public trust. You have been saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that lives and properties are safe. And how do you ensure that lives and properties are safe? You use the finances, that's the, the finance and the resources available in the state to ensure that various agencies are carrying out their duties. And life can be safe and secure when you provide the basic social amenities that are meant to ameliorate the pains of the people and beautify their life. 
and the uh, EFCC will soon give us more details because I tell you the truth, uh, Governor Lucky Igbenedio might be the first governor in Nigeria to go to jail twice. So, uh, is a uh, congratulations to him. I don't know how his family are feeling now. I don't know if they are proud of him. I don't know if the governor himself who has found a new father, who has found a new friend, who has found solace in Chief Lucky Benedio. I don't know how he's feeling now. I was expecting him to go and bury his face in shame, but instead, he still uh, went ahead to jump from one place to another in the name of celebrating Alago Daru, fifth year in office without result. And uh, one thing I have always stand for is this. Let justice always take a place. If Governor Lucky Benedio has subjected the people, he has subverted the wealth of the people, then he should be made to face the music. And if he's innocent, of course, as charged, they should allow him to go. But uh, in the words of Magu, Magu say, and I quote, nobody comes to EFCC and go home clean. So it's a, it's a tradition in EFCC. EFCC cannot arrest you and you tell us you are a free man. No, except you have not held a position before. That is why you can go free. As long as you have held a political position, appointment or elected, you don't go to EFCC and come home clean. It's only God that can clean uh, you. And I welcome Governor Lucky Benedio to this new market. Uh, it's a big market. Let him go and clear his name. Congratulations to him. And uh, Governor Godwin Obasaki, congratulations. You just have exactly three years to leave the office. And uh, I want to assure you, as you are driving out, you are not driving out of the motorcade. You are entering, you are moving out of your office to enter EFCC pickup to go and give account of your eight years stewardship. Inshallah. Okay. So, uh, congratulations to Chief Lucky Benedio. He should enjoy his new home while the court decides his fate. And I know that with the evidences that EFCC will tender, he might as well, uh, either he's taking plea bargaining or he might as well be going on another sabbatica. And I don't know how many uh, sabbatica used to be one year, so I don't know if they are going to give him tri triple sabbatica or they are going to give him a very, very long and sweet uh, vacation. Anyway, is at the covers of ESCC now. We leave him to his fate and ask the God of heaven and the ancestors of Edo State to decide if he's innocent or guilty. And if he's innocent, they should free him. If he's guilty, let them punish him according to the weight of the law. Let him carry the law. The same law he has been using to uh, oppress the people for eight years he was the governor of Edo State. He should face the weight of that law now. Thank you, Mega Comrade. And uh, I greet everybody. Good evening to you all those in Nigeria, and of course our brothers and sisters overseas. For those of you who have time differences, if you are in the morning, I say good morning to you. If you are in the afternoon, I say good afternoon to you. Welcome to Moment of Truth with Omar Bume, Bob Manuel Moru, and the host remain the mega comrade. Today, is going, today might be short, it might be long, but we tell you, we are going to give you some information. Uh, we have a lot of discussion. Our governor within the week, uh, expressed himself in an unwholesome manner, and we are going to talk on the, on the matter. Thank you, Mega Company, for having me, and uh, we are set to go. Thank you. Okay, before we go further, uh, I want everyone to go ahead and share this video. Uh, today's show is going to be Dengue Dengue. Uh, as you all understand, I'm an APC independent member, uh, and uh, Comrade uh, Omo Bume, Bob Manuel Umaru is the PDP hardcore independent man. Uh, this is the only moment of truth uh, in the whole federation, in the whole world, moment of truth show, whereby when you come, if you are not gege, you will be gege -rizzi. <laughs> So if you are not gege, the hammer will hammer your ass out of the moment of truth room. It will prepare you, it will unleash the truth on you. At the end of the day, <laughs> the terminator will terminate you for moment or two. <laughs> what well, that be said, what do you have to say about this uh, uh, Dr. Laya Lorenta? Have you heard about her? Do you know her? Go ahead, moment of truth. Um, Dr. Loretta, uh, what's that? her surname again? It's one of the insignificant politicians that those state has been uh, unfortunately caused with. We, we've been caused with that with her. And by the grace of God, we are breaking that cost tonight. Uh, we are flying out of it. You see, I have said 
uh, you know, in the Bible, they question, they say, can anything good come out of Nazareth? The question then is, can anything good come out of Loretta? A woman who has adorned herself with all the lies and she has been polished and baited by the lies and uh, the cookings of uh, the book cooking governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki. She has been taken to the schools of lies and deceit. And then on a periodic basis or daily basis, she comes to the public and begins to tell lies, lies from the pit of hell to, to Edo people. They begin to brandish figures that are not real, figures that have been, have been forged, figures that are fraudulent. They begin to bring half-baked information, lies, everything begins to send it to other people. But of course, they have forgotten that uh, there are those we call the gatekeepers. And by the special grace of God, I'm one of the gatekeepers of Edo State. You don't come to Edo State and mess up Edo State and, allow, and think I will allow you to go to uh, scot free. In the public sector, can people like Loretta gain, have gainful employment without bribing their ways, without cutting corner, without giving somebody 500000 or family gather money to pay for a job? Can she attend an interview and get a serious job? And then you are given an opportunity to serve a those state. You now feel you want to serve our people with lies, with deceit, with uh, wrong information, with wrong motives, all in the name of they just want to steal our money. And that is what they have been doing. If you check her pedigree, uh, in a sane society, people like her should be in the marketplaces selling tomatoes in a sane society mm -hmm. and not be found in the corridor of power. But today, she has been given opportunity and then she stands like a, like a goat slayer and then begin to talk rubbish, misrepresenting the women, not knowing that Edo is blessed with good women. And people like her come outside and begin to rubbish your father. They begin to rubbish information all in the name of doing a job that does not pay. And then I begin to ask these people, that, do these people really have conscience? As we progress, you see some of the lies and, uh, and the, not even the lies alone, the energy the emotion with which she uses in telling that lies. And I begin to ask, will this one make heaven? Or this one has just zeroed their mind to just say, oh, Lord, we are ready for hellfire. Just allow us to waste our time here on earth. And I begin to ask, do these people actually know that there is a life after now? And that is uh, what has actually caught my attention. Sincerely, in a real environment, in advanced climate, such like the climate or the environment you are, mega comrade, we will, you will be sincere with me that people like Loretta Oloche will not even be admitted to this uh, to street sweeping jobs. Not to talk about credible jobs that has to do with governance of a society, uh, jobs that have to do with the life and properties of the people. She wouldn't be found there. And unfortunately, um, she is working under a very bizarre and uh, a very bizarre, very deceitful a very demonic and a, a, a very directionless governor in the history of Edo State and the history of Nigeria. So to say, I will tell you the truth today, in the ranking of state governors in, in Nigeria, she's working under the number one state governor in the history of Nigeria from 1960 to date, in person of Godwin Obasaki. And uh, when you look at them, the same way Godwin Obasaki uses energy to lie, try his best to convince the people with life. You see her struggling to tell the people, the struggle to say it out. Unlike when you want to say the truth, you don't have hitches, you go ahead and you say the truth. And uh, we, we have only one job. We have been uh, employed by the almighty God and by the good people of Edo State and Nigeria to punish these liars, these periodic liars, these satanic anointed liars. We are to punish them with the whip with the hammer, and of course with the nails of the truth. And I tell you the truth, sir, none of them will have a, a, a safe, smooth, uh, 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 a safe, uh, smooth and easy ride in this journey. They should be ready for battle, and in this battle, only one person will win, and that is the truth. The truth will stand as a person, and the truth will win this battle for us all. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, comrade, uh... You say, uh, I think I remember you call her Lorenta Oloche, right? Oloche. Is that her last name? No, 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 no. Uh, Oloche is uh, Buari's own. And unfortunately, 
The Loretta's have known in politics. They are bastard liars, stinking liars, okay. anointed demons in line. If you see when Omo the one in Abuja is lying, Epa, you will remove your shoe and run. You will if you will prefer to hug the devil than to have a handshake with her. I don't know where they actually came from. I don't know the water that was used in baiting them when uh, when they were uh, they were given birth to. Maybe perhaps the person who was supposed to give them good water from the angelic well went to the well of the devil to fetch water and then handed over that water for them to be baited. And that is why you see, although they may be fair in their face, although they may look uh, 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 good uh, to look upon in their face, but in their heart, the darkness in their heart is more than the gross darkness that the Bible talks about. These are serial mm. liars. They are anointed, guttered, and suck away driven liars. So smelling in nature. And... Uh, uh, that is the, who the Loretta of Edo State is, and of course the Loretta Onoche of uh, Buari, they are the same thing. Uh, we are still trying to, to know more about this Dr. Laya Loretta, uh, who was the co-host of that of a uh, chronic uh, uh, social media uh, electronics or e- garbage uh, town hall that they segregated uh, myself, people like uh, Comrade Bob Umaru. Uh, they segregated us from uh, participating in that uh, shameful town hall uh, uh, AQ, AQ uh, or QA, whatever they call it, question and answer, town hall that they did. Uh, we want to know more about that uh, Loretta. We want to know about her. We want to know First of all, I'll be asking, is she married? Because if she was my wife, I won't allow her to walk the walk of shame the way she did. I will not allow her to participate in that uh, uh, in that so-called uh, Kagaru uh, town hall, e town hall. We want to know about her. Okay, let's move forward. Uh, uh, the commissioner go, for health. Go, go ahead. Huh? I, I think the new commissioner for health. Oh, they gave Loretta the new commissioner for her? I think that that's the position uh, Obaseki gave to her. You kidding me? No. I Do, do you have a new they Send it to me. Okay, let me check. Let me check and then quickly send it to send you, it sir. Send it to me. Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I want everyone to go ahead and share this video. Uh, uh, Fred Odoware from Brooklyn, God bless you. I acknowledge your present Brooklyn, Brooklyn is in the building. Oh, Manhattan, you live in Manhattan, not Brooklyn, sorry. Uh, you live in uh, Manhattan, uh, I think, it, uh, yeah, in New York. So God bless you. Uh, I want to thank everyone. I want you all to go ahead and share this moment of truth uh, video with Omo uh, Bume Bob Manuel Umaru. Uh, we are 18 minutes on air. We, are, we have about 437 viewers right now, 18 minutes on air. Uh, Facebook, I want you all to do your best. Uh, right now, Facebook are not doing good. I want you all to continue to share four or five times. Remember, always share it four or five times. Right now, I cannot even share my video by myself. So I need you all to go ahead and do that. Uh, while we're doing that, we are going to be sure if she's the one, Governor Baseki just gave an appointment. Uh, and uh, Facebook, thank you. You have about 95 people share right now. Uh, go ahead and share the video. Uh, unbelievable. Okay, let me check it and confirm it. Uh, we are going to receive, we are going to talk for one hour, and uh, we are going to put our, our, our phone call in the next one hour, whereby we receive call from people uh smart what did you say what are you writing uh stay home what is that okay i think you need some rest so that you can know what you are writing let's put you on a timeout for a second okay go and rest and come back uh that is it on your own uh so wow let me quickly do this and send this video to where, to where I am going to play. 
Okay. Uh, we are going to play uh, what transpired in that town hall. We want to talk about that first. What do you think, Comrade? Yes, sir. I want us to play yeah. it so that Edo people can see the character of the man they call their governor. They can see okay. the character so they can know why Edo, Edo, Edo State is stagnant. They can know why Edo State is dying every second, every minute. Let them see the rudeness that is the governor of Edo State addresses a woman who asks him a very simple question. People who spent their hard earned money to do what he said to do in five years when he was busy spending, squandering our money, using it lavishly as if though Edose was borrowing the money from him. See the way they answer the question. Does just play it so that let them be able to judge if the way the governor answered that question, if it will even motivate an ordinary citizen to buy a pin for Edose people, for the usage and the benefit of Edose people. Let them see the way the rudeness and the, the rudeness and disposition of lost lack of character of their government. Let them see how he spoke to a woman who asked a very simple question. A woman who has spent all her money and her team, they have joined as uh, 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 Dr. Fred Ojaga, and of course, uh, Mr. Fred Ojaga herself. She's the secretary, that's uh, Miss Omonigo uh, Olumese from Eastland. Eastland sons and daughters in diaspora came together. They did not borrow money from the government. They did not write an appeal to the government. They did not beg the government. They put their own hard and money. It wasn't their responsibility to do that. But they felt as citizens of the state, as a son, sons and daughter, let us ameliorate the pains of our people since the, governor is, the government is absent. And everybody know that the government have failed. They know the government have failed. Now they came together. Instead of coming together, oh, thank you so much, my people. God bless you. Thank you for this. Instead of giving them an ovation, play it, sir, and let them see the loss of character and the rudeness and the behavior of the man that had done himself as the governor of Edo State. Unfortunately, in an advanced line, Governor Godwin Obasaki cannot be a PA to a supervisory counselor. Unfortunately, it's in Edo State, and that's why he's wasting his time wasting adult resources, and is blind in governance. He knows nothing to do. Check the, the way he talks. It was God that exposed him. Please, I just played. Let them see. So it's not about okay. me now. It's about him and his character. Okay. Uh, for our viewer, uh, you are welcome to PFM Moment of Truth with Omo uh, Bume, uh, Bob Manu Umaru. Uh, you all saw what happened in that Kagaru uh, E-Town Hall uh, that the criminal show hosted. Uh, unfortunately, one uh, Dr. Laya Lorenta was also there. And she was one of the co-hosts. And some uh, frustrated old cargo, uh, do frustrated uh, citizen in Diabora. Uh, they are frustrated. Their life have never been better. They can't work. They're lazy. Uh, or they want, they want to find one or the other to speak grammar to steal it. They want to use grammar to penetrate into our treasury and uh, continue to loot taxpayer money. When they are in abroad, they cannot work. They are lazy. They have been there for 40 years, 50 years, some of them. And uh, people like uh, Dr. Laya Lorenta have opportunity, privilege to study. And uh, it's so unfortunate that uh, some of his mates who are from, uh, uh, who are from Pakistan, Indians, and uh, Palestina, and doing good with their with their education, Loretta decided that she wanted to use her own to come and suffer at those state money. Uh, we are going to expose her on that one. Uh, we 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 will hunt her document and we will hunt any appointment that they gave her. We will hunt it like a garden rabbit. We will hunt it. We will make sure that a penny do not go out of whatever department they place her on. Uh, that being said, here we have this uh, hardworking Nigerians who reside in Maryland, in United States of America, who works so hard, who is one of the board, board members in Maryland, the government board member, uh, a hardworking Edo citizen who happens to be an Asian, a Asian woman. Uh, she, she, was, uh, she was bamboozled to come and ask a question over there because she did not know their plan. She came there with good feet, this woman and her group have worked so hard. They build 
a hospital that was abandoned by government. They reconstruct it and they build a lot of things in their community, all for them to have Governor Obaseki to open it. A dummy royal barrel. In that, I want you all to listen. I cannot play the video. Uh, I want you all to listen to the to the barrel. You all give me a second. Let me connect it. One second. I have to do this. Give me one second, brothers and sisters. Uh, I think, uh, fortunately, okay. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, I need you all to share this video. Let's play it. Let's hear what you What is that? Oh, he's playing in the one in the living room. Okay. Uh, my bad. Uh, I'm going to do it again one more time. I think it's on the one in the living room. Okay, good. I got it now. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead. Speak. 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 The person that is that is speaking right now is uh, so called Dr. Laya Loretta. Yes, thank you. So I will say if me or afternoon to everyone, depending on where you are, my excellency. This is uh, Princess Omoni Olumiste from M the Maryland. My question it has to do with the Urumi Hospital. We came together from all over the world, uh, people from Eastern Land, and we've been building that hospital. We've been rebuilding. We've sent in uh, so many things. We have since almost everything on one part that faced the war, um, the whole hospital. We have we have spent millions. We have sent you letters upon letters. You have not responded to one. And um, we have been able to open up twice. In, we have asked your office if you can send just one person to be there. The governor has not re have not done anything. Then Bishop Bishop Matthew actually built a place also where people can come if they have an accident. He's been equipped. He, he has done so much, he has, he has written letters. The governor and your office has not responded for once. So I would think if you want people from all over the world to come back home and invest in our land, why is it so difficult for your office to respond to emails? I have done several emails as I am the secretary of this um, uh, group. I'm also the general secretary of the Thank you very much, Thank you. you can hear that before she could even finish, Dr. Laya Loretta were cutting her off. Seeing that she's speaking the truth, uh, this doctor in Maryland, they have done a lot in their community. When she asked that question, Dr. Laya Loretta did not even allow her to finish. Uh, uh, okay, Let, let's go ahead and finish it. I'm talking. Okay, you, let, me, let me just go. Well, Lawrence, let me answer this even before I take You see, when we disregard government, mm. and we feel like we don't care about government. Government, people in government are stupid, they don't have sense, they don't know what to do. This is what happens. You know, you cannot just on your own come in and build things in hospitals, build this. And see, if there's no government, and you're not integrating and connecting with government. You know, and that's what we're trying to stop. You know, government should have a plan, and you should now share, be picking, and be part of that plan of government. When you go and build, you know, a facility, and government is not aware, how is government going to now staff that facility? How are we now going to run the facility? <clears throat> so the fact of government failure in the past does not mean we should continue it. I think the first thing is for citizens to even respect government and say, okay, we want to do this. This is the, what is your plan for healthcare? For us, just as we've done with specialist hospital, 
in Benin. That's what, you know, so Urobe Hospital and a few others are in the works. So you just can't come and build and write and say, come and do this. No, you to, if, you, if you want to adopt the hospital and take it and run it as private, then come in because we are in the process of concessioning those hospitals and get them to run in a certain way. But don't, I don't think it's fair and it's respectful when you don't, in conception, talk to government when you're doing something. And you just say, we've done, we've called, I will come and commission. So how do I now integrate that into our plan? So I think the message for the diaspora is great to help, great to assist, but talk to government when you are trying to do this and see what their plan is. If government has not been responsive in the past, it does not mean we are continuing that. We have a plan with this sitting down and conceiving a plan. And it is, but let's discuss that plan. Let's agree on that plan before people will begin to do what they decide. We will come to you and say, we need this hospital furnished, we need this hospital provided for. Please respect government. And let government know, and not just think that people in government are stupid, they're incompetent, they don't know what to do. Please. Okay, you all heard him. And uh, before we go further, if you're on Facebook, if you cannot share and get a hundred over there, we are going to close that place down. Because the terrorist uh, Abatobaze and his brother, they have completely paralyzed a new page. I can see you have 95 share sinks, and uh, there are 61 people watching. That is impossible for it to be like that. So uh, we advise you to go ahead and uh, share by, by using uh, Facebook uh, Messenger and others, and do that before we go for that, please. Uh, as you heard him, uh, you heard the governor, uh, he go off on that lady, uh what do you got to say about that uh, comrade uh i think the the first thing that i have to say about uh, the distance it was obvious that uh, the governor was childish it was parochial and it was uh very very selfish in his response for god's sake people who you are not paying People who are not under your watch, people who spent their own money for your re-election, because I'm aware that most of the persons that make up that association who are in diaspora uh, or overseas, majority of them supported him, believing that the governor will be sensible enough, he will be man enough, he will be focused and directed enough to deliver the mandate of his campaign. Now, one year down the lane, he failed woefully. And don't forget, there was a four year before his second tenor. This four year, the SM people did not benefit from him. Uh, those pockets of the state benefited little. And why 85% of the fund received so far in a dose state cannot be accounted for to have been spent in a dose state. Again, I say, I challenge the governor and I challenge anybody in his administration to come and lay this chart to the grave that I'm lying against him. 85% of the money purported to have been received so far in the past five years cannot be accounted for that it has been spent on the good people of a dose state via governance. And that is why I say, in 2014, remember the song, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. And those say, don't cry for Obaseki. When the FCC tied his hand and his leg together and bundle him like a goat for the slaughter and take him to jail, don't cry for him. Now, these are good brothers and sisters. Um, uh, Mr. Ojaga, his baby is Dr. Fred Ojaga, and uh, Miss Omonigo. Uh, Mrs. Omonigo Olumese, she's the secretary. Why? Uh, Mr. Fred, or Dr. Fred, I don't really know, is the president. Now, these sons and daughters, well-trained sons and daughters, who have a heart of gold, who are moved by compassion, to feel that uh, this facility, there are certain facilities, the education, hospital, among others, are dilapidating and they cannot serve the purpose for which they were built to the people. They now decided to come together. About 200 plus, over 200 of them came together, 
put money from their hard end uh, resource, put together and committed to this project. Now they committed to the project is like giving back to the society. This is our home. Let us not watch our people suffer in this point uh, at this. Let us not watch our children not go to, go to good schools. Let us not watch our people not having access to good hospitals. They came together, put resources together. You watched the video from the beginning. You saw the dilapidating state that that, uh, that, that building, those facilities were. And then you see at the end of it, you see the new face it is wearing. It was the hard-earned money of these people. Not that government over the years was paying them or sending one uh, incentive to them, or they were under one scholarship or under one freebies from the government. No. This was money gotten from the sweat that runs from their head down to their body. Money meant for their own personal and family development was not given out to, 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 to ameliorate the pains of our people, to beautify this particular structure and others. And then a governor came and opened his mouth carelessly and began to make a case for what? I felt when it comes to moral justification, the governor should shut up his mouth and look for superglue to glue his mouth. How can a, a known failure a man who has failed in all senses of governance and humanity open his mouth and begin to spew out such nonsense to the secretary who was involved in the whole process and ask you a simple question for you to commission it or for you to uh, even acknowledge it. They never ask you to come and give them appointment. How much is he paying commissioner? Commissioners are going home with a uh, 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 with a minute coins of uh, four hundred and fifty thousand naira, which is not an, even uh, enough for most of the responsibility most of us carry. And most of these persons who put their self, uh, who put their resources together, I will tell you, for a million dollars, many of them will not accept the position of commissioner because to them it looks like mental enslavement. It looks like coming to uh, to waste their time with a man who has no vision. With a man who is just good in talking and talking and signing papers, which is just the only work I don't say they employ him for for five years to sign MOU by a flight plane and come back home again and sleep and then wake up and tell us you are awake and see. Wake and see what? You could not tell them thank you. And let me take again. You see, when you criticize somebody, you also come out and constructively speak about that person. Uh, in the years of Adam Soshomole, I was part of those who were criticizing him constructively. And when he does anything good, we will still praise him. This same thing that our people, our brothers and sisters overseas, did to our people in Esa land. Pastor Chris Oyakilome, may God bless him, gave a very beautiful edifice to Ambrose Ali University, a lecture theater. When Comrade Adams or Shomole saw it, he didn't ask the man to stop. Comrade Adams did not shut down the place or tell the management it was not going to be used or anything. He was happy about it. Guess what he did? He committed more funds to the advancement of Ambrose University. And that is why, under the late VC, may her soul rest in peace, Professor Mrs. Cordelia Agwebaku, AAU got a new face. All the beautification work started under that because Somebody like Pastor Chris came and gave to the society, and he was hugged, he was welcomed. Even when they wanted to give him awards and all the rest of it, he turned it down. He said, if it were his children, would he allow his children to just stay like that and not have access to good facilities? That this school contributed to whatever he is today, and he gave back. The same thing our brothers, our sisters are doing coming to give back to the society. They are not owing the society. Education, they paid for it. Hospitals, they paid for it. Roads is part of their task. Everything they got, is they, 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 they never owed the society. But they felt that, yes, we may have spent our money to get certain benefits from the society, but as good citizens of a salon, of a do state, let us join in building. And what this governor could do 
was to just look at their sacrifices, was to look at their contribution with disdain, with lack of character, with malicious intent of anger, and just rubbish it as though nothing was done. I want to ask Governor Godwin Obaseki, as a governor, aside stealing our money, aside with feeding you, giving you the cash you are driving, what have you in your life contributed to a do state? I challenge yeah. Governor Godwin Obaseki, before he became governor, did he ever have the iota of thinking that his people in, in Huode, which is his local government of origin, and in order to where he's residing, has he ever given a penny for the advancement of the people, that he could open his mouth and talk to people like that. You see, you can't give what you don't have. Characterized like a smoke. Yoruba people say, Efiniwa. Characterized like a smoke, you can't hide it. The governor has told us that out of the abundance of his heart, the smart has spoken. He's telling us that we have a governor that doesn't have character. We have a governor who is ungrateful, and ungratefulness has been the hallmark of his life. There is nobody who ever did good to Obaseki on in his side that he's ever grateful for. Now he has done it to Somali, he's doing it to PDP, now he's doing it to the harmless people who are abroad, who are saying, let us join the government, a third government, to ameliorate the pains of our people. Look at how demonic, how dark his heart is, and see the way he appreciated these people. When I watched that video and I saw Loretta opening her gutter mother, she has not brushed for decades to cut that woman short, a woman who is more educated than her, who is more beautiful than her, who has a good character than her, you cut her short. If you see her face to face, can Loretta stand before her and talk? Then you did not know that this woman is representing over 200 people. Not just that, she's representing all our brothers and sisters overseas who have been contributing to the advancement of our state. You now have the gods, you have the F country to cut the woman short when she has not even asking her question. And then our overfed grown baby governor opened his mouth and then begin to talk carelessly that they should take permission. Permission from who? Who are you that the people will take permission from? You are a servant adorning yourself to be a master. Who are you? The governor should know these people are not in government. They have a very free life to live. Today, nobody will hold them accountable for anything. They have done their best to the society. And I am happy that God, posterity, will judge them well. But the governor should know, on the last day, uh, November 12, 2024, where will you be when your turn not end? Obasaki, where will you be when your turn not end? EFCC is waiting for him. EFCC is waiting for him. If nobody writes petition to EFCC, I, Omar Bume, Bob Manuel Umoru, a free-born citizen of a dose state, we call Obaseki to give account of his stewardship for eight years. The eight wasted years. He's going to give account of it. Because you can judge a man's journey from the past, the present, and the future. The past of Obaseki is like hellfire. The present of Obaseki in a dose state is gross darkness mixed with fire. The future is dark and bleak. I am scared of the future of a do state under the watch of a governor who has sacrificed his heart to the devil. Mm. What an ungrateful man. What an ungrateful man. What message is he sending to the other, uh, other, uh, other brothers and sisters abroad? We have 18 local governments. What message is he sending to them? We have 192 words. These people want to come in and give. They don't even want anything from us. They just feel our people should have access to good facilities that he or Basaki in his demonic mind has failed to provide for the people. He doesn't want Edo people to be smiling. And that is why he is flying while insecurity is raining on the ground. But he has forgotten that the God that owns the earth is still the one that owns the sky. God has the ability to suspend anything in the sky, has the ability to suspend anything on earth. Governor, God, you are not the owner of your life. God is the owner of your life. You are not the owner of our life. God is the owner of our life. He's going to ask you. You are. He's going to question you. You are going to give account of the life of those citizens under your watch for eight years. The lucky wow. you have run to as a brother, as a shelter, 
Where is he today? I believe he's receiving his either with hand fan under EFCC coffers, or he's somewhere using towel to clean his face. He's sweating now. Darkness, uh, perhaps I'm very sure, is 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 under a very dark facilities now. You are not thinking of it. You could open your mouth and talk to the woman rudely. Now, good. If we place uh, Mrs. Omonigo and the governor, I am pretty sure intellectually she's not his mate because Obaseki is not a learned man. No sound educated person will address a woman like that. And the way he spoke to her shows that he doesn't even have respect for his own wife. He shows that he doesn't have respect for women. He doesn't have respect for women. If he could talk to that woman like that, then I understand the way he's treating his wife at home. I understand. Now I know why he's failing more than anything because it is obvious he doesn't respect his wife and the woman will be cursing him. She will be cursing him from the heart while she's laughing with him in the public. What an unfortunate, unfortunate history that a dose state has had. What an unfortunate time that a dose state voted for a devil in these guys, thinking they voted for a human. It was so painful. I watched that video and I tell you the truth, even if he's not going to apologize to our people overseas, we, sons and daughters of Edo, we owe it as a duty to ask them to forgive his childishness, to ask them to forgive his characterlessness, to ask them to forgive his decadence, both at head and, of course, in heart. They should forgive him. He's mentally decayed and is morally not balanced. For the governor to address our people overseas, we saw this day such hatred and such ungratefulness. So bad. Mega comrade, it is so, so bad. I am speaking, you know this is not how I speak. I am speaking from the depth of anger. If I see the governor now, only God knows the way I will handle him. Sincerely. Since the day I watched that video, that the video was sent to me, I lost my love, a total love of praying for himself. I lost it for him. So painful. So, so bizarre. So, so bizarre. And I, 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 I now look at those who say they are overseas and they are supporting failure. And that is why many of them are failing over there. That is why. That is why. You are supporting somebody who in all senses are failed. You are in a country where you don't carry gas to go, uh, gas cylinder to go outside and buy gas. The facilities flow to your house. You pay the bill. You are in a country that has uninterrupted power supply. All you need to do, all facilities are okay. All you need to do is just be paying your bills. Then you come from a country where we have the resources to make available for our people the same thing you are benefiting. And you are supporting those who are subchanging our people, who are subverting the will of our people, who are oppressing our people, who are putting our people in neo slavery. And you are done yourself, and you are happy that you have traveled out, that you have uh, experience. Go and check your brain. Something is missing. And I see a lot of them trooping to that hall, uh, Alago Daro Zoom uh, meeting, this and that. An avenue where, uh, where the devil incarnate, who had done himself as the governor of Edo State, come to tell lies and lies and lies, unprinted lies to you all, and you are happy. I have said it again. I challenge him. He should come to PFF Situation Room and stand me. Or Obaseki should come to any of national channels and let us see if he will be able to drive out the following day and tell Edo people that he's the governor of Edo State. What rubbish. What rubbish? Are you the first person to lack character? Are you the first ungrateful beast to be created? No. There were many beasts before you, and after you, there will be many beasts. Why can't you put up a little heart? At least disappoint the people for once. Disappoint them for once. You open your mouth and talk to people who did what you cannot do in the next 50 years. If given the chance to use your private money, you wouldn't. I didn't blame him. All his life, Obaseki has never worked genuinely for anybody. It has been from one scam to the other. He has never worked genuinely. What is he using Afrivest to do? To loan money for politicians. Where is Commissioner Aero? Who did he loan money for? Is it not the same Obaseki? Who is, who is doing it now? So what are we talking about? He has never sweat all his life. He has not worked all his life, sincerely. Sincerely. He has not. If he has worked all his life, he will know what it means 
for people to risk all their life and time and everything to put resources together only to donate it to a society that they are not even living in, that they are not benefiting in immediately. And then you come because you have opportunity to be governor and then you open your mouth and talk recklessly. You will finish your administration and you will see the disgrace you will have on the street. People will stone you like they stole Lucky. They will boo you like they boo Lucky. You will go to jail like Lucky went to jail. Your own jail, you will go four times. Lucky is going twice, you will go four times. You will be dazed. You don't know God. If you know God, you will not try any nonsense. You, you see, there are people that God placed in a position, even when you think you have money than them, don't insult them. Don't try it. Don't try it. If he knows what that woman and her group have done for a dope people, he will not say that. Even the party that gave him umbrella, if he knows the contribution of that woman and her people to the party during his election, he will not say that. I am speaking because I know what they have done. I know what she has done. When PDP mobilizers had, uh, had programs to do on because of his campaign, when they have programs to do because of a dose thing, this woman and her people supported. Then you now sat down in one hall. And then because you feel you are the only person who is, who is morally not balanced, you can talk to anybody else anyhow because you, 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 you lack the moral consciousness. Then you talk to anybody anyhow. You can talk anyhow to a man. A man can even accept it to a, to, to a, to a level. In this world where we are saying, let us respect our women, then you open your mouth, you, you now spoke like that. If it was a man that asked that question and then he answered him like that, we will understand the emotion of a man is different. You don't talk to people like that. You don't. You know, unfortunately, at those states, you have a rotten mind as a governor. You have a mind that, 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 beyond, that is beyond repair, character-wise. 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 All right. And I uh, think uh, society has vindicated me. For my leaders who, who pleaded with me to support Obaseki because it's the product of uh, because our ticket and our, our ticket and flag has been given to him. Yes, you may have forced me to vote for PDP, to campaign for PDP, but nobody can force me not to tell other people the truth about that man who is sitting in Osadebi Avenue, who has no character. Character is the needed ingredient for any leader. Obaseki doesn't have character. He doesn't have courtesy. And he's going to pay for it. As long as God is alive, Obaseki will pay for it. He will pay. God will punish him to the point that he will look for mercy. Mercy will be out of his way. People have mercy on our people and donated facilities to them and look at the way he answered. The same thing, it's not even that alone. Uh, Bishop uh, Matthew Paolo gave an emergency uh, medical center in case of accident or anything. The same governor out of lack of character. That man is older than him. That man has contributed more to this society. The man is richer than him financially, both academically and all forms of life. He, can he compare himself to Reverend Mat uh, Bishop Matthew Bello? But what did he do? See the same act of ungratefulness. He's just been jealous. He's just been jealous because it's not coming from him. And he cannot do it. See, he leave government and leave this earth. I don't think Obasaki can buy a biro for those people from his pocket. He's not a stingy, greedy fellow. So bad. So bad. Mega okay. comrade, take over, sir. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. I allowed you to pour out your anger because when I watched that part in that video, I stopped watching that video. Up to now, I did not finish it. I did not want to watch it anymore. I was, uh, I was, uh, I was disappointed on the, on most of the men that called themselves co-hosts who could not stand up for that innocent woman and uh, call uh, Dr. Laya Lorenta out uh, the way she obstructed that uh, hardworking a medical doctor in the United States. I don't know if she even know when the woman said MD. She did not know the meaning of MD. If she know the meaning of MD because when she, when she, when she introduced herself, she, she, she put MD at the end. You know, in Europe, I don't know if they know the meaning of MD. That is medical doctor. So uh, they don't know. And uh, uh, a liologist doctor, I call, I call her degree liologist. Liologist doctor, Laya Lorenta, did not know the meaning. 
it's a pity that uh, we still have not known anything about her. Nobody know anything about her. If she's married, she's not married. She said, some say she's a single woman. She have no husband looking for husband. And uh, some said uh, that is her character. Some say she has a dubious and a non character. Uh, she's not from a home. We have heard a lot of uh, uh, a lot of bad thing about her. The only good thing we have heard about her is that uh, she know how to lie a lot. Yeah. Well, that being said, go ahead. Mm. <laughs> okay, that being said, uh, uh, go ahead, comrade. Go ahead, comrade. For for Loretta, oh. she's a doctor in telling lies. She's a Correct. doctor whose DNA and mentality has been changed to darkness. Correct. Uh, I know people should not expect anything good from her because there is nothing good surrounding her. There is nothing good. Unfortunately, nothing good. Those who say she doesn't have a husband are not telling lies. Those who say she doesn't have a stable life are not telling lies. That is just who she is. That's just who she is. And that is why she could sit down beside a man who had done himself in the devil apparel and then in her presence, the man talks to a woman anyhow. If I was in her position, no minding if I'm an appointee of the governor, the governor answered that woman like that, I will end that broadcast that day and I will resign. It's quite that that is, if I don't do it, then it's not my father that gives birth to me. I will end that broadcast and that is the end. Where I am, you don't treat people with this day. Not to talk of a group of people who are doing well to our people. You see, if you want to find my trouble, Fight the man that is doing well for the people of Edo State. I will fight you to any length. That is the thing. I hate oppression. I have been following up the development of these people. At Esran Sons and Daughter, there was a time a group of them came together, donated vehicles and money for vigilante. Mm -hmm. Reverend uh, Bishop Okbawolo took care of medical facilities. Then we now have the, uh, uh, the one uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Omonigo is standing as the secretary. And Dr. Fred is standing as the uh, as the as the president. We now have them donating their own too. They were not doing it. Uh, let us make a name. Let people notice us. If not, we that brought it to the public. These people are not ready to bring it to the public. They were not ready. We discovered what they were doing, and we brought it to the public. And it's going around in different state, in different corners like that. When the business will come, I will let you know. When the out will come, I will let you know. Things are going on in different shape. People are coming, coming to, to salvage our people so that they don't die prematurely in the hands of Obasaki. And then a, a woman who has no character from the day of her birth to the day she is now, stand and watch a governor whose character has been buried in the gutter of senselessness, talk to a woman who is representing over 200 people who have been contributing to a docent and contributed to his victory, spoke to her anyhow, and then she could not even end the broadcast. She could not. This is the state of the facility was worse than this. This is the state. It was. And then these people came together. They did not, the governor did not know whether they borrowed money. And they are going to pay with their salary. He didn't know whether they gathered their three months salary or six months salary to do this thing. He didn't know the source of that funding. We know the source that they had to let go a lot of family responsibilities to fix this thing. And the worst any of us could do to them is tell them thank you. And the best we could do for them is pray for them. And then one man think his own worst is to talk to the representative. Or does he think that the people were not aware that she was going to ask that question? A lot of them were watching that broadcast and they were disappointed. Oh, you mean we have a governor who doesn't have character? You mean we have a governor who is not sensible to the, to the plight and pains of our people? You mean we have a governor that is not good in talking? Who, 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 who doesn't have verbal grace? But what he has in his mouth is verbal recklessness. The governor was verbally reckless and morally decayed. He showcased the decadence of his character when he addressed that woman in that form. And Loretta already showed us that she belonged to the gutter. She belonged to the soccer way. And I think after this particular tenor, she will be thrown to the dustbin of irrelevance. 
She will, she, she will be in her political purgatory. I know saints will pray for her. I know demon will rescue her. She will be there. Her times are not needed in our society. They are problem. They are clogged in the wheel of our progress. If I were on her shoes, the governor will not complete that broker's daddy. I will embarrass him with that, with that broker by ending that broker so that in his next life, he will know how to address people. Sincerely. If you wow. go towards the end, you will see the pictures. You will see the pictures of this thing. You are seeing the decadence now of this building. Very long building, very long. So it's not a building that will say they spend five million or ten million. If you look at the uh, if you look at the quality of work done there, you will know these people have spent millions, millions that the governor would have stolen, millions that the governor would have used to 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 to, to charter private jets, millions that would have used to go and hide in America and be drinking beer and be drinking alcohol, millions that would have hide to go and develop his estate in in in, 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 in Lagos here. Yeah. Millions that his deputy would have happy, be happy to go and use to buy filling station. They committed that millions to, to, to this project. And then you open your mouth and then you be talk anyhow because you are governor. Who are you without us? We made you governor. And what makes him feel that if we are tired of him, we cannot, we cannot institute the process of recall. The process of recall will not spend any of us anything. We institute the process of recall. APC PDP will come and vote for him and then he will get out of our state and pack his bag, bag and baggages back to Lagos. After all, was it not a laptop bag he used in bringing his load to, 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 to Edo State? Then we chase him out of Edo State finally. What nonsense. Uh, and I was like, you know, Sabi talk, I they talk anyhow. And you actually came out to come and to come and to, to come and prove to the people you don't know how to talk. So go for tongue training. Go for town training. You are not the first, uh, uh, first governor to be verbal, verbally reckless. There are governors who are verbally reckless than you. Can you talk like Wiki? But then Wiki see addresses people with respect. Can you talk like Okowa? Okowa see addresses people with respect. You Can you talk like Osomale? Can you talk 5% of what Osomale is saying? There are points Osomale made a mistake. If it was Osomale that answered that woman like that, it would not be up to four hours. Osomale will run to the public and beg that woman that is sorry. That's you saw cool. when he told that woman, go and die. And then we wanted to make a mole out of it. You saw what you saw his response. He went to the woman. He was not too proud. He went to her. He apologized and gave her, gave her unemployment. Oh, you, you are a widow. Sorry. I was out of my uh, out of uh, anger. I was out of my mind. I was emotionally like this. And I'm sorry. He apologized to that woman. Less than 48 hours. So somebody did that. It's over 48 hours. That that man spoke recklessly, verbally reckless. And then he's, he cannot even come out to say sorry. And his wife cannot even tell him, oh God, you don't talk like that to women. That woman is representing a good group of people. People with sound head, more better than his own head. Who understand men, what talk is about? Some men and women, Dr. Laya Lorenta was there. She could not stand up for a woman. There, this uh, criminal show, they were there. Nobody could stand up for her. I think what we're going to do, uh, if you are close to the governor, uh, the chief of staff, or Sagbovo, you are. I need you all to call that woman. Let the governor make a private apology to her uh, and to her organization before this matter escalates. Uh, it's going to go wide. And uh, uh, if that if that is not done, you know, Umaro have been talking about record, record. The reason why I have not spoken about it, I know there are political mobs, political terrorists political hyenas in Edo, political tout and talks, they are in Edo state. Uh, we do not want to bring anybody uh, life or put anyone life in danger. Uh, recall would be very easy if we have security. Uh, it will get to a point whereby we will introduce recall. All we have to do is to get a number of uh, signatures, uh, setting a amount of signature, we we'll call on PDP and APC, and uh, to sign it, then we petition to the INEC. We will do another election. It's very easy. So we we'll do another election. I believe by that process, uh, Governor Baseki will be out of the office without delay. Uh, because now that the PDP have known him, APC have known him, everyone have known him, 
it will no longer be a new thing. Uh, the reason why I have not kicked into that IDM is because of the insecurity. So, but if Governor Baseki would not apologize to this woman and the Edo people, we would left with no choice. Because I myself, imagine, he said we should contact the government. I want to invest in Nigeria. I came home. I was not allowed to even visit my state. How can I communicate with the government or communicate with the government? How? 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 So this is a person who has sent you an email, did everything you asked her to do, and yet you came in public domain and humiliate her, humiliate her or uh, 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 organization, all the effort they put to provide good health care in their community, uh, you completely just, uh, you know, and uh, Dr. Laya Lorenta was there and she was cutting her off. What a shame. Uh, that being said, we are going to deliberate on this record. We are about to start answering for now. And then we will go on uh, this uh, one point, uh, is it 1.5 billion uh, of lucky? 1.6 billion. 1.6 billion. Billion, what is going on with uh, Lucky Minajio as rich as his father? Why is this uh, ex governor not respecting his father's name? Why does he want to destroy Minajio's name? Do you have anything to say about that? Mega comrade, yeah. once, a man, uh, once a man or a woman is infected uh, with leukemia, no matter how you drain the blood, leukemia cannot leave that blood. Oh, yes. See, Vlogging Benedio is like the red, uh, red, uh, red, uh, red pancane squirrel. As he's eating one, he's eyeing another one. He loves corruption. He loves corruption. That man, he likes corruption mm -hmm. where, where. But uh, his, senior, his senior brother or elder brother in corruption is Obaseki. Though Obaseki is junior to him in age. But when it comes to corruption, yeah. Obaseki is his elder brother in corruption. But. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's hear as I FCC first. Then you should tell the FCC what you want to do with 1.6 billion. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's take this uh, first call. Uh, give me a second. Let me connect it. Uh, I have to connect this uh, call right quick. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello, caller. Hello. Yes. Your name and where are you calling from? Don't listen to the one you are using to watch me. Huh? Okay. So, uh, we are going to start uh, picking calls and uh, we want to know more about this uh, lucky million, 1.6 billion corruption saga. And uh, <laughs> it's not even up to a few months ago when they started romancing with lucky, uh, Obaseki started romancing with lucky yes. million. Uh, let, let, let's answer this call. Uh, hello. Uh, mayor, mayor. Yes. Uh, your name and uh, where uh, are you calling from? Good, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, this is Ini TV from UK. Okay, go ahead. I want to say, please. I want to say, please, eh, if if there is a motion that Obaseki should apologize, it should be public because what he did was attacking the woman publicly. So if he's going to apologize, it should be publicly. This one we did also make he apologize privately. I don't think it's a fair bargain. I'm trying so, to be. I'm trying to be sympathetic. Yeah, I'm trying to be sympathetic to him or to uh, to him. Let's let's call a spay a spay. This is somebody that has come out from his own private step to do something for the community, and he is wanting you to just come and commission, just come and take the the, the credit. You you pour out your anger on her. No, 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 no. It was, and, uh, it was just too much. Addition it to that, too much, sir. we are calling out the criminal show, uh, Dr. Laya Lorenta, 
for them to do another show on Sunday and make a public apology to all the entire Edo and uh, that organization the lady belongs to. Uh, that is. Bossa, 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 sir. Those people are you are listening to me? Lower the one you are using to. Me. They don't hold any political post. Can so you? Can you? Thank you very much. All right. All right. Okay, please, before you call, lower the one you are using to watch me. Hello. Good evening, sir. Akataka one. Hey, good evening. How are you? Go ahead. No, but I think I need to one thing for Lucky. Okay, go ahead. We are listening. Oh, we all never go. No, G. Only let's go. Ja, Olile, Ovia, Nego, no, Le, Olile, Ja, Ja, Olile, Ovia, Nego, no, Ji. Epa, he won't hear to Lomuna. Speak a broken English. Yeah, 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 broken English. Broken English. Broken English. This morning, we're lucky. Let's see, folks. You know what I like, Ethan. Right there, it's even. As I said, I think this is the first, though. This son, so the prayer, though, he will never sleep to, to enjoy those body and his children. Do you understand? Calamity is always the city that man, when he's alive, he's, he's full of calamity, all corner of, of that man. Look at, look at, just look at that man. He's a very wicked man. All his aim is to the prayer, don't say. I don't want to take it as being a bad boy. Look at two of them. They look like people for 10 months. What is this, sir? Those people are just evil. The vampires of the ghost. Thank you. All right. Uh, that, that is a call from, um, uh, from Ireland. Uh, comrade, I don't know how we can cure our Ipalo community. You know? Uh, this, uh, uh, you know, this mind of uh, corruption. I don't know where his father is a nice man. I don't know where. I mean, I am really feeling sad because of his what his father have done for the good people of those things. Lucky is just destroying their names completely. Uh, let me pick this call. Hello. Yeah, Lord, the one you are using to watch me. Yeah, go ahead. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. London presiding. Can you repeat that, please? We didn't hear you. This is Osas calling from UK. Okay, London go ahead. Presiding. Go ahead. Yeah, but regarding this uh, uh, lucky minute issue, I don't really know what is the, the map problem. You know, in this life, there are certain age you get to, there are certain things you, you stay away from. Uh. This map contributes a lot of havoc to a good thing. Okay. What do you really want? Your father has a good name. Hey. You are trying to damage the image Every of time. a lot of things that your father has. You understand what I'm saying? Hey. Look at this uh, this new governor that they are letting in Anambra State, Solo When the man won about 18 local government, the kids that came to the man, I was watching the interview with Arise TV. They asked the man, what are you, who was your thought when these kids came to you, to your house, to, you know, to redress it to you? The man said, looking at those kids alone, Tears drop from his eyes because the future of those kids belongs to him, is on his hand. What's the problem with Lucky Benedio? What's this problem? Eh? He doesn't have good repetition. All those money you are embezzled now. Is he going to take those money if he die? How many houses are you going to build? How many rooms is he going to sleep in the night? Is he going to sleep two rooms in the night? They can't do that. That's madness. The problem we have in Nigeria are there. They're just so greedy. Everybody want to have 10 flashy cars, 10 houses, 10 districts. And there are people living there, they don't even have where to sleep. There are people in that country, they don't can't eat, they can't afford 10 square meals. You see the problem we have. You go to a house, a house in Gualibaya State, in Abuja there. If you see the massive house he has there, unbelievable. I don't know what's the problem with these people in Africa. Here in Western world, you see somebody, this our former prime minister here, uh, David Cameron. When they look, when you look at the kind of bargain they want to give them with the EU, he didn't accept it. He just resigned. Is there any politician in Nigeria that can do that? No. 
The upper circle is moving around with Lucky Benedio. That was when I know that those state is finished. It's finished. Look at our bus circuit. At 2021, we give giving people light in the rain road. We expect people to be happy. Ah, they are dancing. Road. They are dancing at the uh, rain road. We expect people to be 2021. 2021, you are giving people light. We expect Ooh. them to be happy. Ooh. We are living in England here. Light is wasting all over the street. In 2021, this is not 80 something. This is not 90. Unbelievable, man. They go ahead for our country. They go ahead and do this. No, Canada uh, State happen. is moving forward. People happy. I'm seeing people happy in Ring Road that there's light. Some of our plan. Just Ring Road only. What about uh, Sapley Road? What about Akbamba? What about Fest? What about Bowo? We will have about 18, 18 local government. In. What about Isako? What about Wonder? Eh? You see the problem we have? It. People are happy just Ring Road only. Do you know how much allocation that is coming to Edo State? Do you know how much allocation that is coming there? Eh? You go to Edo State, no good road, no look at Sapia Road, close to my house there. You can't access nowhere. Eh? The place that there's library, you went to sell it for to put a supermarket there, as educated as you call yourself. You are selling a library for a supermarket. <laughs> so we have, there, there is a, this a, a market square there, two market squares. One is Sapley Road, one in Adwawa. What else do you need again? Eh? Education is the key. Have the kids in this life. The only thing you hold your child in this life is education. If you can give that, kid, that child education, it's finished. If you give that child all property, you have, you can sell it and gamble with those money. But when you give that child education, trust me, for the rest of that child life, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to lack anything. Because what they respect in the Western world here is your education. Not your Armani, not your Bushi, not the house you have. For your educational level, that's what the elite, that's what they respect. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. And thank you very much for this platform. I like the way you are challenging the governor. And Bobomaru, I must say thank you. Bobomaru is an extra command and extra command as well. Oh. Get to precisely. Oh. And I'm so happy that Bobomaru is speaking out. Because in any society where somebody is doing the wrong thing, nobody to challenge it is very bad. In politics, you have to challenge somebody. This is thing you are doing is wrong. Because why? We employ you there. We want you to do the job. If nobody's challenging Obaseki today, that means the beneath the they are dead. People need to challenge that man. We need to put him in the public domain and challenge him because we are the one that is paying for his service. Up to the boss as we are in. We are paying for that service. You understand? Obumaru, may God bless you. Stood by the truth. Don't let anybody deceive you. And I know one day you're going to come out to rule that country, that state, and those things. Trust me. Don't thank, you. Thank, you, thank you thank you sir God bless uh, thank you, sir. you. Uh, please i want you all to go ahead and share this video we have about 700 plus 732 watching right now we are one hour 17 minutes uh, if we can make it to 1000 the more you share the more people know about this video uh the more you share the more they know what we are talking about so comrade yes, uh, what do you have to say about this uh I am concerned about this. Uh, EFCC. Uh, uh, yeah, but let, 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 let's take some call first. There, I want to... I, I don't know. I will, tell you, I will tell you what is happening. I will tell you. I know what is happening. Do you know that Lucky Minedion have not visited America for a long time? I heard that he's it, owing his lawyer. No, not Hello? because he's owing. The American government declared him personal non data. He can't come to America. The government banned him from entering America. If he tries it, he will go to jail. If he tries it, he will not come back to Nigeria. Let him try it now. He, did you see the way he's misbehaving? Carrying all our money is stolen. He's running from one place to another. Did you see him running to America like that? Let him try it. He will not come back to Nigeria. They will jail him. They will put him in San Francisco Bay. Uh, is this San Francisco Bay? No. Uh, no, uh, San Quentin. San Quentin, California, Los Angeles. Uh -huh. Yeah, San Quentin, California. Uh, and uh, this other one. The notorious prison. The notorious prison, very good. They will not burden him there. And uh, there's this other one again, uh, the one where they kept this terrorist, this Nigerian terrorist. Oh, Colorado, yeah. That that one is a massive, super, where they put a chapel, a chapel, Guzma. <laughs> that is where they will bond to a to last, last. Once you enter that place, forget it, bye bye forever. It's gone. Obasaki will go there. Obasaki will go there. I can't. They will get him. He will go there. 
You will go there. Okay. I thought now, the colors are okay. Since there are no colors, let me put on. Go ahead. The issue, go ahead. What the flock is Benedio is facing. You see, uh, there is a song I love in Christianity. And when you sing that song, all, all sinners will now fold themselves. They will now hide. They so say, You cannot hide it from God. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sin and nobody will know. You cannot hide it from God. Now in Nigeria, you cannot hide it from EFCC. You may cover and cover and cover. The day your foul lay cook egg, EFCC will bust you. Chief Lucky Benedion is foul. The foul that laid the egg was not cooked. The egg they laid in 1999 to 2003, they settled that one. The one they are dealing with now is the cooked egg the foul laid between 2003 to 2007. Now, the issue is that, you know, our governors now, they are in the habit of low, 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 low. They go and borrow money. Chief Lucky Benedion went to borrow money and said he wants to use the money to, de uh, to develop the state. It was a company, I've forgotten which of the company, though whether it is a uh, Bender Breweries, I don't know. Whether it was Okmela Smith Factory, I don't know. But they went to borrow money. That they want to use it to resuscitate some of the state uh, infrastructures and broken plasters. Instead of doing that money, they borrowed the money to the tune. 1.6 billion was taken, was diverted by Chief Lucky Benedion. So when they did the former investigation, they did not discover. But that thing was just inching them. Obon, I never finished lucky work. Obon, I never finished lucky work. They now have to investigate again. They now discover that Chief Lucky Ibenedion is having all he is told 1.6 billion, diverted it. Not knowing that he had an interest in the company. So that's where he diverted the money and went to uh, to invest uh, to, 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 to invest it on. So now, if he has invested the money there or not, ESCC is to find out. But the money they are arresting him for, it's not because he duped somebody. It's not because uh, he played a fast one and converted 100 naira to 1 billion. Naira. No. What they are arresting him for and they want to prosecute him for is that he diverted the those state money that would have been meant for proper development. Or got cornered it. And you know one thing about him? He, he doesn't like millions. He doesn't, no, 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 no. You can't hear here as it is a chief lock is T50 million. No. Uh, T500,000. No. T51 million. No. It's always billion. 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 So it's now in another show of, uh, of billion again. And I saw you. It should be ready. It's going to face the music. So investigation is on. And uh, before, maybe they will grant him bail today, I don't know. Maybe they will grant him bail tomorrow, I don't know. Maybe they will grant him bail on Monday, I don't know. But I will tell you that Oga may go to jail the second time. His father is there. His father can. His father can. Hey, where do we move forward? How are we going to move forward in Edo State? Can Edo State... Can we... Let us be honest here. You saw what happened in Anambra. Uh... You saw what happened in Anambra. You can, you can. Yes, this sir. is moment of truth. You know that Abga government are really doing a good job in Anambra State. You know that, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you think this recall of a team is this something that uh, Edo people will support? With the way it is now, if you institute recall on Obaseki, take my word to the bank. Take my word to IMF. Take my word to World Bank. Take my word to United States Treasury. You can take my word there and cash out any amount you like and, it will, and you will get it. If a dope people unitedly today institute a recall process on Obaseki, Obaseki will go home like a fowl that was pursued out of a room with, a, like a, with, a, with stones. He will go home like a goat that was tied rope and dragged out of uh, uh, out of an arena where there are yams. That is what will happen to him. He will go out anyhow. He will be dazed. You will be surprised that before Obaseki will get 1,000 votes for him to stay, 
there would have been about 300,000 votes asking him to go. And guess what? The people will come and vote during, uh, during recall. There will be more than the people who voted in 2020. Wow. Okay. So we are gonna we are gonna see what we can do about that. I need you to consult your your party. Uh, that is something that they did in uh, uh, they did in America recently in California. Uh, but uh, Governor Newsom of uh, California survived the the recall, and they did it in Wisconsin a couple of years ago. Uh, about let's say about five years now. Uh, that one, if we can. I I am that is something Edo people would have done because Edo people is going down. Edo state is going down. It's going down. It's going down. Another thing. They did it in uh, Nigeria. Dino Melai faced it. Senator Dino Melai. He faced uh -huh. it in his last tenor. He faced his record. Yes, he faced the record. He not only escaped, he escaped because there was public sympathy. Uh, the federal agencies like EFCC, DSS, all of them, they've handled him before. So many people were busy sending out that video. So the video was now whipping public sentiment and sympathy on him. So a lot of calls were made home, and that was why he escaped it. Ordinarily, because it's one of the dark minds we have in Nigeria, Dino Melai would have gone. So if Obasaki dare us, if you think... It's not possible. We will institute it as citizens of Edo State. And I assure you, across the 192 wards in Edo State 18 local government, we are going to get a 75 whooping percentage that we ask us to chase him out of Edo State like a leper. And he will go back to his to his Lagos. Come back here and meet okay. me in Lagos. Yeah. And then both here of us will be talking together. Here is a question. Uh, uh, PDP will not bring out a new governor candidate. APC will bring out their candidate, a new candidate. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, who? I mean, I don't know if uh, those people are ready for this because those people are wanting. Uh, I don't think. I don't know uh, if it is something we can we can work on because this Obaseki regime, we will not survive it. I've been saying this for a long time. And a record normally we can fast, fast, uh, fast, fast move it. Then within uh, yes, so fast, four, five yes. months or six months, it's done. It's gone. Yeah. If we ask, so, if we mean business before June, it's just ninety days. Ninety days notice, they will come according to the constitution. They will do what they need to do. Declare ninety days, then they will conduct it. It's like election, like a referendum. All of us will come out. Yeah. Those yeah. who want the basket to stay, we vote. Those who don't want him. We uh, vote the, those are who want an uh, example who want tomorrow should vote tomorrow who want obaseki to stay vote obaseki who want peter to stay or uh, to come to power vote peter it's just like that yes. so whoever come out with the majority win that's it uh nobody vote for the deputy governor they vote for governor so when the governor go the deputy go uh when they uh, recall remove the governor he remove the deputy so that is how is done this is a very good idea comrade okay a very good idea we want people to vote on this can't let pick some call on it before then uh anyway uh, uh, uh comrade, sir. Go, to the next. comrade. Yeah, go ahead don't forget i'm a political scientist and a behavioral scientist again my duty is to ensure that there is sanity in our society what our people Correct. don't know exists in the law and they don't know is possible. It is our duty to bring it to their to their to their domain. It is possible for the people of Edo State, even if it is hundred thousand persons that comes out, and then eight, uh, eighty thousand is voting against Obasaki, or hundred thousand people comes out and fifty five votes against him. Obasaki is a story in Edo State. It's gone. It's yeah. gone. And at this time, it will be multi-party. They will have after yes. them. They will have a... Yes. That is the only way we can remove him. Uh, hello. I'm hello. 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 Yes. not contest as a governor again. Well done, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, sir. 
Yeah. Thank you for what you people have been saying. God, uh, God, God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you see, all this thing one at the talk, so it be good. But the main important people, where they disgrace yourself, where they useless yourself, we not know they are left to right. Most of them, the day European, the day European, they will want, they will like me to destroy. When a bad psyche come that, uh, that interview, that day, you don't see the way that they pray for her. You don't see the way that they do to her. I, did not, that, I did not watch God, it. After a bad psyche, I got to them because they don't have anything good. You understand? People will come, they will come and kick against what you people are saying now. Because especially the one that is in Europe, most of them, they will come and tell you, give them one more time now. He just started his second time now. He still have three years to go. Let's try him. You know the way they talk, the way he annoyed. God the way he come out. Yeah, I never seen him for my life. He go break a can of pay for now. The people who are in Europe, most of them, they see the platform. Most of them. If you do it, we no go around here. I wonder so they don't even care. If you look at your comments now, they will be still be writing up. You have to give him more time. Eh? Let's try him once again. If you see someone is doing bad, you cannot just open your mouth once and for all to tell him that God knows this one is no good. Oh. This one is not a bad. Oh. For them to say it's like it's a, they are God. You understand? For which is very bad. The people where they create this most problem, now many people. There is no two ways about it. Because what she said, they don't know, no, no, they don't know where they are going, money going. That is God they are talking. And then you have a him, why they are going, money going. Oh, they go to the rule in the world. Mama said, I did that. Mama so good, they are like, nothing, nothing, there is no road, nothing to talk about. See, woman is talking the other day. See, the woman about to say, show that woman. You don't even uh. care. You don't even know the work the woman is working in Europe. So gather people together is easy. In America. So bring people together. It's not easy. Huh? You saw that woman. I talked to that woman anyhow. Like I said, I explained. Okay? It's unfair. It's unfair. But many people, some of many people, some of the one with this Europe, especially, they'll see come, they'll post it up, say, what does it go away? Try. They never see God no way. Be like, we don't want to use wicked compare. We don't want to use wicked Is uh, something uh, because uh, this Obaseke administration become unbearable, uh, and uh, the way he piled himself with Lucky Minedio, a well known uh, corruption cartel, uh, uh, is something that, uh, anyway, we have to look into. Uh, Edo State is going down, it's not going forward. Uh, hello, caller. Hello, yes. Hello. Oh, they cut you up. You have to call direct. Hello, caller. Hello. Good morning, Mega Mega. How are you today? Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Michael calling from Australia. Okay, go ahead. Good morning. Uh, morning, Bob Manu. Uh, Bob Maru. Sorry, I say morning here because it's morning over here. Uh, God so bless you all and keep you up. We, we thank God for this wonderful program. Good <laughs> evening, yeah. sir. Yeah, good evening. How are you today? Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good to have you. First of all, I want to thank you for for yeah, I want to thank you for today's topic. Uh I just joined not too long ago. Yeah. I want to commend you for bringing up this matter of recall. You see a lot of Nigerians and a lot of other people do not really know what power they have in their hands to recall anybody they have elected into office. I think the more we talk about it and awaken their consciousness and make them know that the power in their hands is greater than the people in power, as Umaru always says. So they sh we should ex educate them. If they come out and institute that record, Obaseki will be gone and a lot of people will be afraid of him. When people are going into elective office, they will now know that people have the right and people know their right and people know the power they have now to institute that process of recall. And I know one day it will surely happen. If it doesn't start with the governor of Edo State, it will start with somebody else because they did it with, um, what's his name, Gino Melaye before, but he was lucky to have survived it. So please, I thank you very much for most of the things that you talk about. A lot of people's conscience consciences are now awakened. They now know the power they have and they now know the right that they have. God bless you all and keep you all. Thank all you, right. Mega, Mega Comrade. Right, thank thank you. you for taking the time to always uh, come out and to enlighten people. Thank you, Bob Maru. This program has taken over all other programs. All other programs are now watching this program and learning from it. But I hope they will learn to speak the truth. You know, I see them dancing over street lights. The street lights an achievement. Oshomole gave us street lights in Edo State. We never made mention of it. We did not hear any singing and dancing. And, but when he, whenever he was doing major projects here, yeah, we, were, we were aware of them. How can you sell a library for a, for, for, for a supermarket? That person is blind. All right. It, all right. it doesn't make sense. It all doesn't make sense at all. You took the, uh, the, the hospital from the city center that is accessible to everyone, and you took it to aspect of town. Before they get there, won't they die? It's very funny. I don't know how people think. People think backwards. It's like they're taking one step forward and they take 200, 200 steps backwards. Why is it taking us back? All right. This Th is not fair. Th thank God you. bless you. Thank you. And let me be brief so that other colleagues can call it. Thank right. you very we are, much. We are going to make this video. We are going to make program. God bless you. We're going to make the video short. Maybe never. God bless you. Yeah, thank you. I want to quickly ask you. Yeah. Hope you remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I remember, he was yeah. my, my uncle that called last week. He has remember, actually yeah. sent the support. He sent me a hundred dollar plus. Wow. We thank you. So, we appreciate it. Thank I you. forgot to tell you, but I have to say it now. That's fine. I appreciate it. God bless you, brother. Hello, caller. Yeah, hello, Mega. Yes. Uh, you know you are calling on WhatsApp. They're going to cut you off, so hurry up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm calling from Australia. I, do. Uh, yeah. I, I just want to advise about the TV. It's a, an advice. I'm giving it to him. If you do well, you you use uh, sleeping to so eat a cream or something like that. But nevertheless, this lucky is no issue. It's an example and a sound warning to Obaseki. After his turn off, if you know, if he's not careful what happened to Benedion, it also happened to him. He will never escape it. If you know what is good, let him begin to listen to your corporate. Let him cooperate with you. I'm not saying you should give you appointment, but let him listen to your comment, to your advice. People see that uh, you fight him. It's not a fight to me. Every time you mm -hmm. say it. It's an advice. If you don't, you know, if you support him for wrong thing, he thinks he's doing the good thing. But if you support, if you tell him you are doing the wrong thing, that is the only way he will change to do the good thing and the right thing at the same time. But people are not seeing it as a fight. It's not a fight. But you should learn with uh, Lucky Gnesio issue now if you know what is good for him. That's what I need to say. I thank you, Moru, for his you know, telling us the information or making us to know what is going on in the government. Because most of us, we are not a politician. We all listen to this friend story. We, are not, we cannot analyze what is politics. We don't know what is our right. We don't know what is not our right. That is our problem. We only talk and talk and talk. I 
I just want to thank you for exposing all this opportunity to us tomorrow. And uh, thank comrades, thank I thank you for good work. We will continue to support you guys. Thank you guys. Thank Bye. you. Comrade. I Sir. am. They, uh, you can see I'm weak. This Lucky Benedio matter. I love his father so much. Uh, it's like Lucky Benedio become the godfather of corruption in a do state. I don't know. Uh, the godfather I was also, of corruption. I, I was not informed, but I'm going to check uh, the information. I've just been informed that he has returned home. So I'm going to confirm that he has returned home, that as we speak, he's at home now. Yes. I'm going to call my network again, but I know uh, EFCT can grant him, they can allow him to go home to report back, but it doesn't take him away from going to the court. So uh, it should return our money to us. It should return so, it. Wow. 1.6 billion. 1.6 billion. One person. Uh, One person. Well, uh, and it's before we get to share from what is going on in the state. I am sure. Uh, I said before we go, we don't want this video to be long. Uh, okay. Let's talk about. Uh, let me quickly ask you: in that uh, program, that of uh, E Town Hall, somebody challenged the governor and said that he, he grew up and he came from Ubi Aja. I don't know if you watched that video. His governor okay. also came I from Ubi Aja, and he said that is true. He said he has a house in Ubi Aja. He has no house in Benin. He did not have one block. Obaseki do not have one block. One block. He did not have a room before he became a governor. He did not have one land before he became a governor. And Governor Obaseki stated that he has a house that his grandfather, listen to me, he said his grandfather gave him a house in Ubiaja. And he grew up with his grandfather. A lot of Edo people did not look at the content of that video. Even though I did not watch all the video. But when I picked that up, it's been ringing in my head. I thought Obaseki is from uh, Benin. What is going on there? Do you can you explain Better that? To me? Uh, His Excellency Governor Godwin Nogegase Obaseki is a lying machine. It's a uh, line generating transformer is a line distributing device you see you know it tells lies easily is as in stress free stressless is uh is good in line when we were campaigning when he got to onwa he told onwa people his mother is from onwa his grandmother is from here his father is related to this and that we left there we got to Umuwa there they told me and he sold it that he is from Umwo there, his grandmother is from this side. His so I tried to marry them together. In Onwa, you said uh, your grandmother is from Onwa, uh, so bear as this among others. He said a lot of things. We got to Umwo there, you still said your grandmother is from this side, your father was from this side. Again, he said, Isan. So now is we just have one God in Obaseki. How many mother or grandmother is he having? No, because this, this is really serious. This is really serious because oh. uh, Ubiaja, uh, Ubiaja is a do not, right? No, Esan. Edo Central. Uh, Esan. Okay, sorry. Central. Esan. Ed, Ed, Edo Central. Okay. The yes. reason why I'm saying that, you remember Esan agenda is going on, right? Yes. If Obaseki is from Ubiaja, Esan have already served. That is what I'm, I, I'm reading. About. Because Obaseki said, Listen to me because this is going to come up in 2024. Oba said that video, I am going to cut it and I'm keeping that video by the power of Almighty God. Oba Seki said, as we speak, he has a house in Ubiaja. That the house that his grandfather, that he grew up in Ubiaja. So basically, Oba Seki is an ASA. No, sir. Obaseki is a Benin man who does not know his true hometown, his true origin. He doesn't really know. And don't forget, I told you before, historically, their family name is Aho, not Obaseki. Obaseki is a title. No, Obadoyo. 
Now, but do you be there? I don't know. They are, they are from a, we know they are from an orchard. An orchard. They yes. are not even been in. But I we know that Obaseki mother, Obaseki mother is from a, or around Kogi area. I don't know. We, we've been reading okay. a lot about it. But Governor Obaseki contradict himself when he said yes. it on that, on that day that he's from Ubiaja. That is how. One, two. One, two, okay, you somebody must know. said, Okay, my son said, uh, Destiny said from Ubiaja. Did Obaseki have a house in Ubiaja? Yes or no? For me, for me, he doesn't have. You know, Obaseki is a serial liar, and liars have short memory. You went to Owa and told the people in Sobe, I believe which of the community there, that your mother is from here. Your grandmother is on this side. And then you went to uh, Umwode, you told them you are from here, your grandmother is from here, your father is from this side. Now, now he said no. And then during, from 2016, during 2016 election, that election was not to Oriyomo. Uh, people claim that Obaseki was from Abudu, from Oriyomo. I told them it was not from Orion. All of no. you me that there is no longer Orion in the agenda. So they push Orion away in order to bring Ubi Ajama. So uh, someone let is me give you the point. Go ahead. Let me give you the point. The same way Obasaki doesn't know his hometown. The same oh, way he said his grandmother. Uh, he said his grandmother. His grandmother gave him a house in Ubi Aja. The same way Abbott Obasai doesn't know his hometown. Do you know that during the last campaign council, mm -hmm. Abbott Obasai was taken to Onwa East as his local government. That is where his name appeared on the campaign uh, council list. It was in the publicity committee. They put Abbott Obasai to Onwa East. Onwa? Onwa East, that was where no, they posted Abbott Obasai to. You mean terrorist, terrorist Abbott Obasai? Yes, I am telling you authoritatively because I was a member of the campaign council for 2020. Uh -huh. And uh, his name, instead of appearing in Oredo that he claimed, his Oredo people rejected him and said he's not from Oredo. They went to Ikobaoha. Ikobaoha said, no, it's not from there. Only one people said it's not from them. Uh, only other people said it's not from there. Then where is the name of Baze coming from? So, the former commissioner of education, another problematic uh, human being to adopted people, now said they should take about Obazel name to Owa East. So when they told me, I told the people, I said, Abbott is somebody who talks to me politically and he respects me because he knows we are not mates in every aspect of life. He knows. Intellectually, I'm not his mate. Age-wise, I'm not his mate. Materially, I'm not his mate. He knows. By grace of God, I am not his mate. So when they told me that he was still there, I said, see, I don't support evil. Don't expect me to fight all the battle. You people should cry foul. When you cry, I will support you. And that was how they started shouting. And then his name was removed from Owa East. From Owa East. And then it was just a floating name in the campaign council. Now you now see that everybody surrounding Governor Gordon Obasaki have historical accident where they cannot trace their lineage. Who even knows? Maybe he borrowed the name. Because in my present, he told all one people that he's from all one, and it was still the same grandmother he said. So how many grandmother is one man having? Yes, we know okay, there's this maternal is, grandmother this is and there's maternal, this is maternal grandmother. So do you, do, can you find the list where terrorists about Obazen name appear in all one? Can you, will you be able to find it if possible? Can you? I will find it. Okay, good. I will find it. Good enough. We I want him to come out and explain that to the public. Why I will his tell name you was no one. Okay. Uh, we are calling on uh, Abba Pihukwa. You know the meaning of Uhukwa? Do you know the meaning of Uhukwa? <laughs> okay. The meaning of Uhukwa is someone that we, that we do, he will throw it. He will not get benefit out of what it Because he's evil man. You know, demon, demon, NAT, demon do, we always waste. So it will not <laughs> benefit from it. So that is why I name it Abati Hukwa. 
Abati Ufwa. He said the four plus four talk back. So everything does that brata. So now he's selling at the Lagos. Uh, <coughs> so you can see they are writing the name now. Uh, Abati Ukwa, you see, that is the name of Ukwa, you can see. So uh, that is it on that one. Let's quickly go to this uh, next thing that we want to talk about. Uh, okay. Let me quickly, I want to bring that, I bring that of Ubi uh, People are going to, we are going to see. Uh, another thing is that a worker grammar school, uh, terrorist about uh, to qua with your buzzer hashtag about to about you qua hashtag about you qua. I want everybody to type hashtag about you qua on a on a on your comment hashtag about you qua. Let that trend on a, this uh, comment session. Uh, what we're gonna do. Where I want you to go ahead and see how the procedure of a recall. I want you to do check the procedure of recall. Me, I will call an ANEC officer that I know. Let us see how we can educate the people about this recall. We don't have to be stuck with a governor Obaseki for the next four years. We don't have to, we don't have to do that. Uh, comrade, I think your line is frozen. I want you to help us to do the research. I will call our next official and see if we can, the number of signature they need, if we can find the signatures, then uh, put in for a, a recall, a recall vote. Uh, there will be new new election in a do is state. It's the constitution, it's to that. How many, what is the number of signature we need to third? I, I think it's in, I'll get it from the constitution, but the number of votes we need to push them out is to us. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, I will want to if know get how it goes. Vote cast, it's gone. Okay. Can you repeat that? Because your line was frozen. I, I said, if we get to third of the total vote cast, once we institute the process, uh, our governor is gone. Okay. All right. That's good. I think uh, uh, that being said, we will go ahead and uh, speak. Then we can end the show. We don't want it to be more than two hours. Uh, go ahead, uh, comrade. Okay. And the people, as regards the issue of governance in our society, we all have a collective responsibility to be truthful, loyal, and honest to Edo State, our land, and to Nigeria, our overall home. Don't forget, you may not be interested in what the state does, but whatever affects the state will affect you. That is what Christ to say, and I've quoted him about him. I also want to say to you again, I want to say it over and over, We're having a network problem. That is why we are trying to leave early. What I've always somebody... said to you, that, that the power of the people is greater than the people in power. We elected Godwin Obaseki. And if today Godwin Obaseki is not leading us aright, we have the moral justification. We have the license. We have the power, we have the audacity, we have the constitutional backing to issue a process of recall and boot him out of our uh, our state as the governor and bring in competent hands and minds that will lead this state right. Don't forget, if you keep quiet in a time like this, tomorrow we will ask you questions. Like I always say, your children, my children, we ask us questions in the nearest future. They will ask us the role we play. Those who keep quiet in time of evil, they are different from those who are perpetrating that evil. If you are clapping hands or basically as he's doing evil on a dosage, it clearly shows that you are an evil man and you are an evil genius. And you are a lover of evil. And don't forget, anything you love will not depart from you. You love evil, evil will never depart from you. 
You love good, good will never depart from you. You love mercy, mercy will never depart from you. You love giving people good life, good life will not depart from you. You love giving people problem, problem will not depart from you. So whatever a man loves is what he will always get. You love giving people problem, it means problem will not be far from you. These are the basic laws of life. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing more. So All right. that is uh, what I have to say, sir. All right. Uh, God bless you, comrade. Uh, uh, that being said, uh, we are not coming to the end of this show. I thank you all. We have uh, 731 people watch, watching right now. I want to see how many of you who like the video, please like the video. We don't want no one to drop it. Uh, we have uh, out of 732, we have a uh, 237 like. Please, on both Facebook, that would be about 300 plus like. I want you all to go ahead and like this video. If today is the first day you are watching a PFM, uh, People Freedom Movement channel, or PFM TV, uh, please, I want you all to subscribe, follow us, share our page you can see our page will be shrink it's not going anywhere it's just right there 600 and something like uh, i want you all to continue to share i mean come on pay, copy it and paste it in your platform all our follower and our our supporter should do that uh, comrade i thank you uh, you know concerning the local government we are going to talk about that uh, we have a sunday show uh, sunday is going to be great it's going to be uh, you know, tomorrow I will see you all here, Mega Comrade at PFM TV. So I love you. Go ahead. Mega Comrade. Uh, yeah. Uh, before I go, originally, officially, I unveiled the sales of my estate. Plots are going on right now. And uh, people have been taking their own and people are subscribing. So, the part of the Omo Bume, Bob Manuel, Umuru Estate at Beduleki, and uh, by the grace of God, uh, we have started and we are selling progressively. We are teaching you how to invest, and for those who already know how to invest, join us. A plot is going at the promo price for $3 million with a one-year payment plan for initial deposit of $1 million, and of course, for investors, 10 plus 20 million with initial payment of 20 uh, or 5 million with payment plan. So, come us, invest, and we teach you how to be part of the movers and shakers of the real estate world. We have started, and then we have 100 plots for promo price. And uh, as it is, we started 48 hours ago. People have subscribed. For those who are interested, get in touch with me. I'm a boomer, but Manuel Umuru. Uh, it's not a, it's not a lease estate. It's not a borrowed estate. It's my own property. And I am selling it for those who want to build a house and those who want to own commercial, uh, for commercial purposes, maybe you want to build for rented and all the rest of it. Come. Of course, you may be far, you may be near, or you're at home, you don't know how to develop. You can bring in your engineers, or we get your engineers, we develop for you what you want, and then you have the best of services delivered to you by us. For those who are interested, or have relatives and friends who are interested, you can get in touch with me. My number remains 090 2775 and of course, I will send a copy of it. So thank you. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Yes, that's Frau Funke. I say I'm learning to speak uh, Dutch language now. So thank you, Mama. That's my own special mommy. Thank you. And uh, she's one of our subscribers. And by the grace of God, a lot of persons are subscribing. And the uh, mega comrade also has subscribed. And it's still going to subscribe for more. So every one of you who want to have a better environment, good environment, like we said, for those in PFM, inside the estate, we are creating a sub-estate. And it's going to be PFM Gardens. 
So we have PFM family can meet when our holiday, everybody come and you live in the same environment, terrain sweet and secure. So that's where we are. It's zero nine zero five 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 two seven seven five. That is where we are. And then um, thank you. I expect your patronage and I expect you to to bring in people. And again, don't forget. For those of you who are referring people, tell let them tell me that you refer them because we have packages for referral. The best referral have an outstanding award of plots of land. So it's not just this thing. You may just be referring and referring and referring. And when your name is appearing on our, 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 our document, by the time we finish uh, the promo sale for uh, December 15, and your name appeared the most, be sure of a wonderful gift from us. It's not we, we are not government who tell you we want to tie road and then they uh, begin to hide your money. No, we are uh, Bob Manuel Umuru Estate. We keep our word. Our word is our bond. We always tell people it's not money you need for business. Integrity is the capital for business. And by the grace of God, we don't blow our trumpets. Heaven backs us and humanity knows that we are reliable and uh, we are trustworthy. We have nowhere to run to. We are local champions. We have been in Nigeria all our lives. We cherish this nation and then we are going to build. So build with us, be part of Alma Bume Estate, and you will not regret investing. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Mega Comrade, thank you for all your services all right. to Edo State, to our people. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We keep it a Good day night. again, a moment of truth, and we'll give you the best. Good night, everybody. Right. Good, good night, night everyone. Mega. Good night. I love you all. Bye, you all.